Hello and welcome to our video about the components of an electric vehicle. In this video, we will be discussing the main components of an electric vehicle and how they work together to provide power and performance. Fuel prices are skyrocketing and short and long trips are getting more expensive every day. With an electric car, you can comfortably get from one place to another without burning a hole in your pocket. They are also cheaper and easier to maintain because they have fewer components compared to petrol and diesel vehicles. The main components that we will be discussing will be traction battery bag, DC-DC converter, power inverter, electric motor, power control unit, onboard charger, controller, auxiliary battery, thermal system cooling, transmission and charging port. These are how they are located in an electric vehicle. First up, we have the traction battery pack. Traction battery pack is also known as electric vehicle battery. It powers the electric motors of an electric vehicle. It is the main power source of an electric vehicle and consists of multiple lithium ion battery cells connected in series and parallel to achieve the desired voltage and capacity. The battery pack is typically located at the bottom of the vehicle, beneath the cabin or in the rear of the vehicle. It's protected by a casing that helps to keep it cool and prevents damage from external impacts. The battery acts as an electric storage system. When we say that the battery acts as an electric storage system, what we mean is that it has the ability to store electric energy and release it on demand. A battery does this by using a chemical reaction to convert chemical energy into electric energy. Inside the battery, there are two electrodes, a cathode and an anode, and an electrolyte solution that separates them. When the battery is charged, a chemical reaction takes place that causes ions to move between the electrodes and the electrolyte, storing energy in the battery. Then, when the battery is connected to a circuit, the stored energy is released as an electric current flows through the circuit, powering the device. Think of a battery like water tank. When you, re uh, when you fill a tank with water, you can then use it to water your plants or wash your car. Similarly, when you charge a battery, you can then use it to power your laptop and phone. It stores energy in the form of DC current. Traction battery has a uh, range that will be higher with increasing kilowatt of the battery. The life and operation of the battery depends on its design and the lifetime of the traction battery pack is estimated to be 200,000 miles. The performance and lifespan of the battery pack are affected by several factors such as temperature, charging and discharging rates and chemical and cell chemistry there are different types of battery packs used in electric vehicles such as nickel metal hybrid battery or solid state battery next we have the dc dc converter the traction battery pack delivers a constant voltage but different components of the vehicle has different requirements the dc dc converter distributes the power output power that is coming from the battery to a required level. It also provides the voltage required to charge the auxiliary battery. This component takes the high voltage DC power from the traction battery pack and it converts it to the lower voltage DC power needed to run other vehicle system such as the lights and audio system. The efficiency and reliability of the DC-DC converter are critical as well as the safety features that prevent electric, uh, electrical hazards. Moving on to the power converter. Power converter is responsible for converting DC power from the traction battery pack into AC power to drive the electric motor. It also converts the speed and torque of the motor. Additionally, the power inverter is capable of generating energy back into the battery pack during braking. This is achieved through a process called generative regenerative braking. 
where the motor is used as a generator to convert the vehicle's kinetic energy into electric energy that can be stored in the battery pack for later use. This feature improves the overall efficiency of a vehicle as it recovers some of the energy that would have been lost during the braking in a conventional vehicle. Electric motor Just like how the human heart pumps blood to provide energy for our body, the electric motor is the driving force that powers an electric vehicle. It converts electric energy from the traction battery pack into mechanical energy to convert the wheel to power the wheels. What sets a electric car apart from conventional uh, cars is a regenerative braking system which acts like a rechargeable battery. When the brakes are applied, the motor slows the, down the car by converting kinetic energy into electric energy which is then stored in the battery for later use. There are two types there are two main types of electric motors used in electric vehicles AC and DC motors. AC induction motors are the most commonly used due to the due to their efficiency and high power density. This is similar to how the human body adapts to different situations and uses the most efficient muscles to perform a task. Moving on to the power control unit. The electric power control unit that is EPCU is an efficient integration of nearly all devices that control the flow of electric power in the device in the vehicle. The power control unit manages the flow of energy between the traction battery, electric motor and the other vehicle systems. It ensures that the battery pack is charged safely and efficiently and that the electric motor is running at optimal performance. It consists of the inverter, the low voltage DC-DC converter and the vehicle control unit. Let's talk about inverter. Okay, the inverter converts the battery's DC into AC, which is then used to control the motor speed. The device is responsible for executing acceleration and deceleration. So it serves a crucial part in maximizing the easiest drivability. Secondly, the slow power DC-DC converter, the LDC converts the high voltage electricity from the EV's high voltage battery into low voltage that is of 12 volt and it supplies it to the vehicle's various electronic systems. All electronic systems in the EV use electricity in low voltage so the high voltage in the battery must be converted first to be useful for these systems. Right. Now Vehicle control unit. As the control tower of an electric power control system in the vehicle, the electric uh, vehicle control unit is arguably the most important component of electric power control unit. It oversees nearly all the vehicle's power control mechanisms, including the motor control, regenerative braking control, AC load management and power supply for the electronic systems okay we'll be discover we will be covering remaining components in the next video please do watch it thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next video